Hello everybody, it's Tim here again. Here another reaction. Actually, it's time for a video. Uh, I recently talked about the crow, like, first look or whatever at Bill Skarsgård's design and that and all that. And now I'm going to talk about the trailer. The trailer was just released. Now, when the design, like, pic of his design or whatever in the movie was released, it drew, drew, like, divisive reactions. Some people were okay with them doing something totally different, and obviously they're modernizing it. Uh, and other people were like, no, it doesn't look close enough to Brandon Lee. It doesn't look close enough. You can't, you can't modernize it. <coughs> For me, it's a reboot. I'd rather you do something different than just try to copy the original. That's how I feel about stuff. If you're going to reboot something artistically, especially if it's a classic, do your own thing. Um, the Crow is like a really basic story about revenge and love and loss. To really, you could do your own thing with it. You don't have to redo that original movie. It's such a basic concept. You could really set it anywhere or do anything. You could have a crow in Afghanistan if you wanted. You could have a crow in Egypt. You could have a crow in the, the 19th century during Jack the Ripper of London. Like, you could do anything easy with this concept. And that's kind of the interesting good thing about it. But at the same time, it's also kind of the bad thing about it because that's why the sequels don't really work because they really just did that over and over just the basic setup and um, that's what kind of hurts it because the crow isn't really built for a franchise because the concept is so basic but you could probably do like a, but the, the idea that they tried to do for that franchise uh, f uh where they try to do basically like anthology movies where they had like different um basically different stories about different lost loved ones or whatever coming back that idea in concept could work for a crow series but the way they executed it they just kept trying really hard to like recapture that first movie the uh, so the second film is pretty much just a complete. Uh, sorry, I was looking off. I had somebody over there in my peripheral vision, trying to say hi. But that second film is really just a direct copy of that first film. And it wasn't originally in, intended to be that. It was originally supposed to like be a lot different, but they basically had it hacked up to try to copy that original film even more. And that's what really hurts that second film. Personally, I can enjoy part two and three just as their own films if I just don't compare them to the original. But comparing them to the original, they're both not good. The third one is slightly better than part two just because of the fact that it does try harder to be its own thing and do its own thing. Um, but overall, neither one of them are great films. And Wicked Prayer is dog shit. Um... Now with this new one, seeing the trailer, uh, it's already, it's gotten s some positive stuff online, but at the same time, it's gotten some slightly divisive reactions from hardcore fans of the original. Um, the biggest, com uh, watching the trailer, I'll say this, overall, it looks solid, it looks good. As a trailer, it does what a trailer's supposed to do, it's supposed to sell the film and get you interested in seeing it. Overall, it makes the movie look like a fun, dark, sad revenge tale. Um... And it feels like a reboot where you got Bill Skarsgård who's like meeting this chick or whatever. And he looks like he's meeting her in some type of like juvenile detention center or something. And then they fall in love, which is to uh, explain why he's got all the tattoos and stuff and all that. <coughs> like where he probably was like some type of thug growing up and everything. Which I'm not saying if you have tattoos you have to be a thug. But they're trying to ride it into the story somehow. And um, he falls in love with this girl and they're having a romance. And apparently she's like witnessed some crime or whatever. And that's what causes her to be killed by, I think it's Danny Houston, is the one that plays the villain. This dude, like, always plays the villain. He was, like, the guy who was responsible for, like, killing Wolverine's girlfriend or whatever in X-Men Origins Wolverine. This guy, like, always plays an asshole. Um, he looks fine in the trailer. Uh, he's had basically, and in the trailer when they show him or whatever, when he's, like, murdering somebody, the way they film, like, his eyes and everything, he almost looks supernatural. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what they're going for in the film or whatever. But, I don't know, maybe that's just the way they just chose to film it to make it look more enticing, comic booky. But, uh, <clears throat> Bill Skarsgård acting, his acting looks good. He looks good and intense. I heard some people, like, talk about how he doesn't look like he has the charisma of Brandon Lee. But, in the comic, The Crow, The Crow itself does not have, um, he, he's not, he's less than that, uh, really extremely likable vein or whatever. What I mean is, is he's not presented, like, really charismatically. He's much more brutal. Like, he even, like, self-cuts himself and everything. <clears throat> so it's not, like, really... Like, they put Brandon Lee in that first movie because they wanted to make the character more charismatic and less, like, completely brutal. So you rooted for him more. And that works for that movie. But I do appreciate the fact they're just doing, like, an extremely brutal crow in this one. I am okay with that. But at the same time, taking away some of that Brandon Lee charisma, I do agree, could possibly hurt the film a little if he is just like really brutal for revenge that seems to be it, it makes it more of a straight up action film like the punisher or something is what it is so i can see that that would probably 
slightly hurt the film, and I did notice that watching the trailer. <clears throat> but he does he does look good in terms of his acting, and in terms of the action scenes, they look good. He almost looks like Devil May Cry in some scenes, like Dante from the DMC reboot. But yeah, he looks good in terms of his acting, <clears throat> and I like the brutal action. Um, the villains, I haven't seen enough of them yet. They do look a bit generic compared to the ones from the original film, which is a bit of a problem for me. The chick playing Shelly or whatever, she seems fine. Shelly was fine in the original. Shelly didn't really have much to do. It was just the way that she was filmed for the flashbacks and everything. But, um, overall she seems fine here, the chick playing Shelly. The dude who's, like, in the trailer talking about, hey, you're gonna be the crow now and all that. You have the power of a god. I'm like, well, who the hell is this guy? I don't know who that's supposed to be. I'm not completely sold on like the crow having a sidekick or whatever. Maybe it's supposed to be like the skull cowboy who was in who was gonna be in the original film. If that's the case, then yeah, I'm fine with it. But if he's gonna be the skull cowboy, I would have expected him to maybe I don't know, animate him a little bit more, give him an actual skull for a head. They got the budgets to do that now. But uh <clears throat> overall, I think the trailer looks solid. It does look more like a standard like revenge action movie by making it more brutal. Um but they're doing their own thing, and I appreciate that. But at the same time, it doesn't look like it'll have the charisma of the Brandon Lee version. Overall, I would give the trailer like a 3 out of 4. It looks good. I think the song during the trailer is good. Overall, it's a, it would be like a 3 out of 4. I'm glad they're not just trying to redo the Brandon Lee movie. And at the same time, I don't expect this film to match the original. Even most of the best remakes or the good remakes don't match the originals. Overall, I think this looks like a good, solid trailer to where it looks like a fun action flick. It's not going to compare with the charisma of the original and the dark gothic atmosphere of that, but it looks like the, the Crow meets John Wick as an action flick, which, honestly, if the movie's entertaining and fun as an action flick, I can be okay with that as just like a good action flick style Crow remake. I can. Uh, it doesn't, it's just going to miss that extra dramatic heart of that original because it's not going to have the charisma of Brandon Lee and it's going to go for more just brutal John Wick type action. But if they make it extremely entertaining, I can I can roll with that enough to where... <clears throat> sorry about the cough. I can roll with that enough to where I can get on board with the movie. Um, overall, for a trailer, I think it looks good. And I think Bill Skarsgård acting, as acting in it looks good. <clears throat> I'd give it a 3 out of 4 just for a trailer. Uh, but there's some people complaining a lot about how since it's a reboot, uh, they shouldn't... I mean, they're, they're upset that it's not trying to be more like the original. That's what I wanted. But there are also some people saying, well, if they're not going to be much like the original, why even call it um, Eric Draven? And, well, you can you can say that. They probably would have been better off just making it its complete own character, Bill Skarsgård's. But at the same time, I understand why they want to do it, because they want to, you know, they want to keep the character to who people know. You know, the movie has to make money, so it makes sense doing that. But I do think it... <clears throat> Once again, sorry about the cough, but yeah, I do think it probably would have benefited to just change the name. But yeah, and also this is this is really just another adaptation. This is not a remake of that original film at all, and that's what I do appreciate it appreciate about it. At the same time, it's going to be compared to the original film regardless. So yeah, I do think it probably would have been better just to change the name. But also at the same time, I get why they're keeping the names. Overall, um, it looks good. It looks fine as a uh, fun action flick. Uh, with some, uh, maybe a little bit of heart to it by the end or whatever, as a dark action revenge flick. Definitely look, easily looks like the second best Crow film. So, overall, I'll check the film out and give it a chance. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again.